Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subs, thanks for joining us. Um, here on the channel we do a lot of outboard stuff and other stuff, but mostly outboards. And uh, So, I'm getting caught up, I've, I've got caught up pretty darn good, um, but I still had to do some of this. had to do some lawnmowers I got a chainsaw on the bench and bye bye but I said what am I going to bring in here next for some good old outboard fun which victim will it be and I got one it's a cutie and I own it so I said I think I want to do one of these little cuties and that's what I'm going to do and get this one squared away I decided so I think I'll quit jabbered and let's get to it Well, I told you it was a cutie. This is the one that was just gifted to me here a couple weeks ago. And the first thing I had to do is I went over to my bone pile and got this little tiller arm. It's off a little Nissan two horsepower but uh, it bolted right on there no problem but I got to looking at it and it's clean as a whistle but just look how clean this guy is and I ain't even washed it but I'm gonna Boy, that's a clean little unit there. Got some dust and yuck up under it and on the outside, but the inside is really nice. I'm going to get that gas out of there because I'm sure that's old. Well, he said it had been sitting for over two years. That's a nice, clean little cutie. So, I'm going to... First thing I'm going to do is get to washing that thing. And, uh, why is my camera all askew? But yeah, we're going to give it a little bath. Well, actually, I guess I should drain the gas first. Let me do that. Let me get some pliers. I'll be back.
smells good and looks pretty good too. Okay, this is a 1992, and you can see right there on the sticker, Hong Kong, E-N-R, that puts it at a 92. There's another sticker here, Hong Kong. So this is one of the little Hong Kong single cylinders. So I'm going to let that super clean soaked there for a minute I'll be back and we'll hose it off
what I decided to do, after I cleaned it up, I put a little fresh gas in there, opened the gas. This thing is just so clean that I'm going to try and start it without taking the old garbage radar off and stuff. And we'll see what it does. I think choke is up. So, it's stone cold. You'll see what I'm going to see. revving it I didn't see any water moving so we got something going on there so looks like we're gonna take off a propeller because something was just the hubs spine or something in there But how about the way that little thing started? Now, according to the guy I got it from, it hasn't been started in two years. Started first pull. <laughs> Boy, that's a big Carter key in that thing. Big, thick, fat one. How am I gonna get that thing so fat? And it spins on me. Come here, you. And keep it up tough. It peeves water. Yeah, got it. Oh, let's see what's all going on in here. A big cotter pin for that little. <laughs> oh, there ain't no. Oh. Look at that. The Carter key is, it's there. It's broke, but it's sideways. See, there's a piece of it. Where's the other half? Let me just tap it in my hand, see if something falls. Oh, could it be in there? Oh yeah, it's still in there. Yep, it's still inside. So, we got to get a punch or something. Let's see if we can tap that out of there. So we got a little sheared car key action going. Boop, there it went. So there's the other piece of it. So now I'll take both pieces. I know you can't see this probably with my glove on. I'll take both pieces and go out to my car keys and find the right one. Because she snapped in half. So I'll be right back. Okay, I went out and got me a new Carter pin. Goes like that. That should go about like... Let me put some grease on that thing. No. It's not like it's splined or anything, but still, what the heck.
There. Audio engine turns over. Get my super sized car key. Now let me. We got a propeller that's turning over the power head. Okay. I don't know if I should choke it again or not.
What happened? It turned blue. It turned blue. Why well, ain't that a cute set of twins right there? They're not identical twins. But they're twins. You can see on the uh, little Johnson here, it's got a, I put this, it's flat. On the Evan Rude, it's cup shape. But that will do just fine. Yep, they're a pair of little cuties. I see the tilt pin on the Evinrude's missing. And then I need to come up with some clamps or my own clamp to bonnet on the Evinrude. Yeah. Six point six total horsepowers. Aren't they little cuties? On the Johnson, they put 3.3 .3 in the back under the spark plug access. And on the Evinrude, they just put the E. A pair of little cuties. Diablo Deuce. Nasty.
That's some good glue. Whatever he used, it uh, had that jack plate stuck on there good. But it's off now. Cause she's a swingin'. Jack plate is swinging. All right, so I cut off the transom jack plate. I cut out the helm. I cut out some of the fiberglass on the inside. But if you look, there's the handrails. Those are nice handrails. So I cut out that. And I cut out some of the back just to lighten it up because I get charged per pound taking this out to the landfill. So that's about everything that I'm going to take out of here. Um, I cut out that cross member that went on the back right in there. I could cut a lot more off here, but I'm just not going to do it. This is what's going to the landfill right there. So she is done. I'll see you at the landfill. Well, there's my trailer. I'll show you what I did. There's the landfill. A sad ending. I tied off to these big giant tires here. And then I just drove forward. We got the little three point, three pert, three Johnson squared away. <clears throat> I've got a couple of these little motors and these are the ones that are made in Hong Kong. It says right on her, made in Hong Kong. Uh, little single cylinders, but I like them. Um, and they make good little trolling motors. Um, so. I've got a pair of them now, and uh, still got some cosmetic work to do on the little Johnson here. Well, both of them, really. I got to fix the latches on my little uh, Evan Rude bonnet there. I'll come up with something, and we'll film that too. So, but I got me my tillers. This one came out just fine. I, I, it's nice. Um, so, not too much outboard hacking going on in this video but a lot of other stuff so it's getting a little bit long so I think we'll call this one a wrap and uh, as always that is one more hack from Kodiak and thanks for watching more events are coming on inside outboards with your host Cody Bass